welcome to our class on agromet winch advances one uh, before we go into the class uh, just a quote to inspire you uh, a friend in need is a friend indeed a friend in need is a friend indeed okay this is the quote uh, in addition to that i would like to say the best friend is the one who supports you in difficulties this is the quote for our uh, class so let us go straight into our class see the atmospheric wind wind air in its horizontal motion is known as wind air in its vertical motion is known as air currents so before uh, you go into the advances one two three four five like this on uh, wind uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel agrometrology for course and road development there the fundamentals were already given as far as wind is concerned now so this is the basis or beginning for the advances one now wind affects plant growth in uh, at least three significant ways what are those transpiration carbon dioxide intake and mechanical breakage of leaves and branches in addition to this innumerable fundamentals i had given in the basis courses okay basis classes uploaded so far now transpiration increases with uh, wind speed up to a certain point okay beyond which either it does not increase or it decreases however when there are slightly high wind speeds so transpiration increases with wind speed in general to a certain point that uh, you should remember uh, for aerodynamics and the wind exerts a much greater influence on uh, cuticle transpiration than on uh, uh, stomatal transpiration as i said uh, at least twice in this class itself uh, go to fundamentals there uh, we discussed about the three types of transpirations so cuticular lenticular and the stomatal stomatal transpiration accounts for approximately 90-92 percent okay so cuticular transpiration may be depending upon the uh, crops okay maybe five seven eight nine something like that but of course lenticular transpiration is uh, most uh, uh, uncommon in uh, most of the crops however it will be one two or three percentage so now so let's go to uh, some part point where wind exerts a much greater influence on the cuticular transpiration than on the commercial transpiration of oil now in the jrf srf uh, a question may be asked linking this uh, what is that plants with the higher cuticular transpiration hydrophytes okay show an appreciable increase in the transpiration resulting from the action of the wind now this point is fundamental for uh, uh, I mean, setting a question so once again for uh, your academic interest i would like to inform you that transpiration okay cuticular transpiration otherwise higher cuticular transpiration in hydrophytes for example show an appreciable increase in the transpiration resulting from the action under uh, natural conditions the effect of wind on transpiration vary according to roughness as determined by the surface configuration of the canopy for example you take a crop canopy now so the effect of wind on transpiration vary according to the roughness the how much of the roughness is uh, offered by the crop canopy so that determines the um uh, natural under natural conditions the extent of wind the effect of wind on transpiration See these two points, fundamental. Third point, uh, I'll come back. Now, uh, in general, the effect of uh, the effect is greatest for an isolated tall plant. For example, if you take a, uh, a coconut example, in the next two lines I'm telling, if you take a coconut in single in the field level, coconut in a plantation of hundred coconuts in a say acre and acre and half. Okay, right. So what is the transpiration an increase in the transpiration rate of coconut palm in full sunlight of about 100 percent with the wind speed at five miles per hour was estimated as much more than coconut palms grown in an acre of land this is the third point i would like to impress upon you so if uh, a coconut plant is there isolated there there and there that plant uh, that coconut plant uh, uh, goes for more of a transpiration as compared to good number of co coconut plants in one acre why so for any other crop also if uh, the cover is complete this is the answer for if uh, the cover is complete that means you know you have got uh, optimum plant population in the crop of uh, soybean or uh, jowar or maize so what happens uh, the surface is more or less even and smooth 
then the effect of window transpiration is usually small. Once the crop is uh, uniform, once the crop is uh, not having any gap fillings, then okay, the effect of window transpiration is usually to air flow at the top of the canopy was uh, reduced because of the frictional drag from the plant. See, plant canopy offers a frictional drag, frictional drag because of the frictional drag okay the airflow at the top of the canopy gets reduced now drag resistance is greater when the canopy the drag, the, the drag resistance is greater with the canopy okay for example air movement slows down deeper into the canopy air movement from the top to the in the top into the crop canopy reduces at the, or near ground level the air flow is often expected to be zero now once again i would like to impress upon you that drag resistance is greater with the canopy air movement slows down deeper into the canopy from the top surface into the into the into the canopy now when it goes to the near ground almost zero from the plant scientist point of view okay, a downward air flow is preferable as compared to upward air flow because temperature gradients are smaller that's why so air should be dragged into the crop canopy rather than air go out of the crop canopy uh, because of uh, temperature gradients so now see in addition wind is important uh, to agriculture in both direct and indirect way several times i told Strong winds in association with the rain can cause lodging, particularly at flowering in this area. It causes an enormous amount of loss. Changes in wind speed indirectly affects crop surfaces uh, by changing the resistance and thus controlling the fluxes of heat, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and pollutants. Okay, so wind is also important to the application of pesticides, fertilizers, and irrigation water. By knowing the direction of the wind, we go for application of pesticides fertilizers and irrigation water wind in the atmosphere near the ground is very 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 unsteady of course uh, almost close to the uh, surface is zero fundamental principle now so wind over the crop surface can alter the onset of drought uh, during the dry period due to water vapor loss through transpiration this is the fourth point that you should remember while uh, you are preparing with jrf and srf because the uh, next point is very important this may lead to tomato closure and reduce rates of uh, gaseous exchange leading to both reduced photosynthesis and crop trees. This point, this is the fifth point in this class you should remember. Now as the uh, wind in layers near the ground increases logarithmically with height, all, for example, tall crops such as sugarcane are uh, uh, more tall crops in and near the coastal areas, wind carried salt spread can have very harmful effects on susceptible species. Uh, near the coastal areas uh, the problem is uh, wind carried salt sprays okay susceptible crops uh, are uh, affected very um, abnormally loss of uh, soil is uh, most apparent on light texture soils in coastal areas uh, a certain amount of wind speed of course approximately 50, 15 kilometers per hour is required for uh, windowing operations after the harvest of the crop we go for windowing growth of plants in general are inhibited at wind speeds above growth in general okay 10 kilometers per hour a question is possible however there are individual very conditions that represent the large scale turbulence the more unstable the atmosphere the more turbulent it is with the enhanced mixing so turbulent okay unstable these are uh, these are uh, complementary to each other. It is the turbulence that is the primary factor determining the aerodynamic resistance. Now, what I am interested in is upon you with these uh, four or five last points is that uh, so long as the uh, atmosphere is uh, stable, there is no problem. Once uh, it is unstable, the atmosphere uh, there is a more turbulent and uh, it uh, enhances the mixing. So. This is what the fundamentals slowly we are going to one two three four five win fundamentals and again at uh, the end of the class please really say thanks once again a friend in need is a friend indeed the best friend is one who supports you in difficulties may god bless you thank you very much